Hey team, what's going on? It's Nick here, back for another mod review. It's actually not a review, it's a tutorial more so on how to install Minecraft Forge. So here's what you're going to do. First thing we want to do is go to minecraftforge.net. So we're at minecraftforge.net and um, it will bring us here. And what we're going to need to go do is go to files and just go to releases and it'll bring you to this page here. Um, currently we're on Minecraft 1.62, which is the reason I'm doing this tutorial because there's been a lot of confusion on how to install it for Minecraft 1.62. So I'm just going to select 1.62 from here, and um, I typically use the latest version. Um, but let's right for right now, let's just go ahead and use the recommended. Um, you won't need anything but the recommended for the most part. But sometimes a model say you must be using Forge version 9.10 or whatever. Um, they might say a specific version. And make sure this is at least that number. Otherwise, mods won't work sometimes. So watch this number here, um, and mods will sometimes say um, what you need to use. But most of the time, they just use the recommended version. We'll be fine. Because um, Forge doesn't change a lot. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and download. Um, just download the in um, installer here um, for recommended 1.62. And it's going. All right, something was going on with AdFly there. So now I have the longer ad to wait for. And um, AdFly is just an ad that pops up for 5 seconds, but I had to wait 10 now because it's dumb. And I had to wait 5 more. <sighs> okay, anyway, so we're going to download Minecraft Forge here. I'm going to show you guys how to get it set up really easy. And I'm going to show you how to do it with the easiest way possible. Uh, I was a bit hesitant about using the installer because I usually do things manually. But really, the installer is just fine. So, we're just going to run the installer here. We're going to install a client. Um, this is going to ask where your .minecraft folder is. It should find it automatically unless you've moved it. So we're going to say install client unless you're going to um, do a server. So I'm just going to do install client. Hit OK. And it's successfully installed Minecraft Forge into launcher. So then I'm going to go over here. Uh, Minecraft and Minecraft.exe. Close out that. And it's going to bring up this menu here. And this is your Minecraft launcher. So what we're going to do is, um, I don't want to set up a new profile yet, just play as me. And, um, you should have an option here called Forge now. Uh, if you edit profile, it'll show you exactly what's going on, what it's linking to. Uh, but there it is, it's set up the Forge, it's a new profile option. And, so then all you're going to need to do is hit play. And you should be all set up, ready to play Minecraft 1.62. It Basically what it does, it sets up a separate, um, version basically of Minecraft, because how the new launcher works. It has different versions. Um, and basically pretends that Forge is another version. Um, is all it does. So, I use Magic Launcher most of the time. But it's the same setup for that. It's the exact same thing. So, this should launch up. And now we have six mods loaded. But that's because I have um, some of the mods installed. Like right now I'm using GLS shaders, too many items, and the Dalek mod. So, that is the tutorial, guys, on how to set up Forge. Um, actually, if I just load up a world now, I'll just create a new world because I don't want to mess anything up. You can see um, the mods that I have installed that are Forge mods, um, which would be the GLS Shaders, I think, is a Forge mod, and the Dalek mods a Forge mod as well. They'll both be working, so all I have to, all I have to do is go to Shaders, turn on um, a shader here, and like the sub shader, and you can see it's all set up and working. What is that right there? What are you? Am I just crazy? Oh, that's a hole with a branch front of it. I'm, I'm not crazy. There was something there, but it just wasn't what I thought it was. So, Anyhow, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this setup tutorial. Um, if it's been helpful, remember to hit that like button down below if you've enjoyed the video in general. That would be phenomenal. Um, you can subscribe to join the team today and um, check out more videos and game commentaries and other tutorials on how to do things on my channel. So, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!